Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to my Best of Enemies, or the Best of Enemies movie review. This movie was directed by Robin Bissell and starred Straj P. Henson and Sam Rockwell as the main characters. Robin Bissell is somebody that I'm not too familiar with, but I do know that he directed The Hunger Games. Those movies were okay. Um, you know, eh, not my cup of tea, but uh, they were serviceable movies and super successful. Now, Sam Rockwell kills it in this movie. He's incredible like he is and everything. And so is Taraj P. Henson. I think both of them are going to get Oscar nominations, in my opinion. So this story is about the integration of the North Carolina schools in uh, 1971, which is, this is post, uh, post-civil post rights movement and all that. And um, if I had described this movie in one word, it would be feel good. That's with the hyphen in the middle. I'm counting that as one word. And uh, if I had to rate it on the Star Starsider scale, I'd give it an 83. I, I went to go see this guy. I had to go in and work on the weekend. And uh, I, I, I saw this before I went in, into work uh, in the afternoon because I wanted something to pick me up. This, And I had a feeling that this story um, about this former Ku Klux Klan leader that became friends with this um, kind of civil rights person, she wasn't, you know, like... It, she wasn't like a Martin Luther King, but locally, I think she was she was very prominent, and I think that's something she set out to do. She just saw things that were wrong in the community and wanted to fix them. Um, they became great friends, and I think this also goes to show there was a documentary that I saw a while back about a Middle Eastern lady that infiltrated the uh, some uh, white nationalist. I don't want to say white nationalists. They, they were Nazis. They used to use a swastika and everything. But she infiltrated that and made friendships with some of the guys. And those guys ended up leaving the racist group because they're like, well, I couldn't do that because you're my friend. And I think this really goes to show that when you talk to one another, instead of calling each other Nazis and racists and communists, that good things can come of that. Because a, a lot of that animosity that we feel like i live in california and it, it, here it's like it, it, if there's an inkling that you're a trump supporter a lot of people will immediately start to yell at you and dislike you without ever even really knowing you they start to call you all these names nazis racist and they don't know you and maybe we should start talking to each other instead of yelling because of information that we're getting from our own little bubble that we live in of, 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 of like-minded people and then we start creating these cartoon images of others. And, and, and this is the is, same is true for everybody. People can hate entire groups of people until they start to actually meet somebody. Then they start to see that maybe all these things that they thought um, were true are not. You know, a, a lot of things, yes, they're rooted in truth. It, certain things and stereotypes, whatever, they don't come out of nowhere. But th- this this is a unifying movie. And I... The, the It was not a packed theater when I went and saw it, but it was um, a very lively vocal group. It was about maybe 25 30%, 25% full. It was an enthusiastic bunch, and um, it's one of the better uh, audience um, reactions in a movie that I've seen or had this year, and uh, that made the movie all that much more enjoyable. Um... I like that it's based on a true story, and I highly recommend this. If you, if you need something to make you feel good, um, at the end of the day, uh, go see this. Go see this movie. Um, uh, I, I I really liked it. I, I I left this movie feeling good. That's why I, I said feel good is is what how I would describe this. Um, so, anyways, uh, let me know what you guys thought. Did you guys see the movie? Um, leave your comments below. Like and subscribe, and I will see you later. Okay, bye.